Okay. Good morning, my little rays of sunshine. We are headed out to Southern California. We're going to a reptile show. He's vlogging Hi, right Kira. now. Hi, Kira. How you doing? There he is. <laughs> I can't see you. Oh, it's just, it's, oh, it's all audio. Got you. I'm doing all right. I'm doing good too. Right on. Me and your daddy are about to head out on a road trip. Oh. <laughs> Southern California, down the last time I saw you. That's where we're going to head to. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here's, here's Garrett's stuff. And here's here's my stuff. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me hey, Brian. That's what it looks like. He has one more thing for you. Say it again, Kira. Thanks for taking care of my uh, my daddy. Oh, no problem. I'm taking real good care of him. <laughs> First thing, before we go to Pomona, we're gonna head to Miguel's house. Collaboration. Many people have been saying, hey, you gotta collaborate with always evolving pythons. I've been hearing so many people tell me that, and I, so I reached out to him, he's like, yeah, come on by. So we're gonna go check his place out and see what it's all about. And that's that's the plan for today, guys. Come on, let's go. Dad, could you okay. please give me a tissue? No, not the whole tissue. Are you ready to go? Huh? Yeah, you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Eli? You ready to go? All right guys, we are here at Miguel's place and boys are inside already and I've already been inside already for a while. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I left the camera in the car while I went inside just because, you know, if I'm out and about, if I'm at a show or something, then I don't mind doing the camera thing all the time, but if I'm going to meet somebody at their house for the first time, I don't want to bring a camera in and be all weird with a camera in their face when they open their door and stuff, so I, I you know, I, you understand? Yeah, I'm sure you understand that. So, but anyway, we've been hanging out for a little bit Super cool people, good family. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. Oh, hey, oh. are you vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Oh, I'm vlogging too. Hi, Brian, how are you? <laughs> good, thank you. Oh, I'm totally in Brian's shot. Yeah, let, me like, the, why, let me get the kids to go out and do it again. <laughs> you might, yeah, you our that? shoes are here. What's that? It's the ADD. How come yours looks way cooler than mine? <laughs> I, I, uh, I hear that a lot. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus, it's, dude. It's just a different lens. Mine's like a Honda Civic. That's like a Lambo, bro. Hey, guys. <laughs> You're on, buddy. All right, so Miguel's son, Ace, is about to handle an Amazon tree bow. How old are you, Ace? Seven. Seven years old. I heard this Let's is see the these skills. Amazon tree bow, and not just a Amazon tree bow. Oh, look at that little baby right there. Oh, that was like professional. Dude, when you woke him up, I thought you were getting bit for sure. I thought so too. <laughs> he usually does. Wow, Ace, I didn't bite you this time. I know. No, I saw him pick it up, like scoop from the side. He's not threatening it. He's not restraining it. If you act like you don't care if it bites you, it probably won't feel like it needs to, right? Because mm -hmm. you're not acting like a predator. Yeah, good technique. Seven years old. No doubt. Oh, we got you. You got me again. <laughs> Ow, got me. That's because Brian's putting a camera in his face. That wasn't your fault. Yeah, that was definitely all my fault. Good job, Brian, getting the kid bit. Oh, yep. That's my ammo. I gotta say, this this kid right here, seven years old, okay? Handling the Amazon tree boa like a professional. And look at look at his technique. It's it's virtually flawless. I've seen people that are way older than seven years old that have... He might be better than me. He's seven years old. Good nah. job, dude. Well done. Can I ask... How did you develop this technique coming from a ball python background? That's what I want to know. <laughs> because ball python people handle like rocks, you know, and they do a good job with that, but they don't know how to handle real snakes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm messing. That was, I'm not being serious. Not only is he tough, but he's like, he's intelligent. He got bit on camera, on Triple B TV, no less. I've never actually held an Amazon tree bow myself, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. I've got some scrub pythons, of course, but Amazon tree bow seems like a different. It's a boa. It's not a python. So you just want to support the whole body and not wave around in front of the face. Oh, thank you. I thought you were supposed to stick your hand out in front of the face, like this. That's, yeah, that's the way I've always seen it done. Oh, see, 
Look at this, the kid's got it all trained now. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. Actually, would you mind opening those blinds back up? And then I say turn off those, uh, those See, tungsten. See, run by and boom. Oh, maybe, maybe turn that one off. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be such a... There we go. That's the light right there. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the light. Nothing better than window light. No, no. No, I just want... Did I catch you? <laughs> I hope I got that. Yeah, he, he kissed it. <laughs> it kissed him back. It's not something I personally, well, no. I'm just not, I'm not into that. You kiss man, Cobras, man. I do kiss Cobras. Amazon Tree Bow is like five clicks down from that. Let's see it. <laughs> Come on, man, bud. But the Cobra didn't bite me. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> if it had, Hillary would have killed you. So we're inside that Lamborghini that uh, you saw when I walked up here. I personally, that 6'4 Impala right there, that personally, that, that, I gotta say, that's a badass car there. I like that car better than this one personally, but Same here. this, this is a sweet you. car. Yeah, Miguel, that's Miguel's favorite car too, but this is 100% my favorite car. Like it has a lot of meaning to it. This is still a sweet ride right here, man. I've never been inside a Lamborghini. I got the opportunity to drive a nice Corvette earlier this year, but I've always wanted to drive a Lamborghini, so maybe if I'm lucky, Miguel, let me get oh, behind the wheel on this thing. Today's your lucky day. Oh! This key's got some weight to it, I'll tell you right now. I had an M5 in Hawaii for a while, but the, the key fob didn't have the weight this thing does. I don't know what that means, but usually when things are heavy, it means they put some real engineering into it. So, there's the button. Start. Alright, at least I figured that out. And you got a button for park too, and then you push this down or lift it up for reverse? So you're actually, yeah, you would put that back, but you're good right now. What you have to do is just pretty much push that down. And that takes the park and brake off. Yeah. Now, you don't want to drive it in strata. Okay. Strata is what I call it, the wide um, drive. Okay, so you got strata, then I'm guessing sport is the next level up. Yes, that's and then the one. Corsa is going to be like... It's full on it, just... It's, is that stand lift. for like, that means like, co like race course. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I like to do uh, sport. Okay, well, let's To do me sport. it's great. Um, now, yeah, you're going to now go in reverse, pull it back. Pull it back. Do I need to hold it? Okay, no, it's yeah. in reverse right now. Right? Yeah. All right, guys, first time driving a Lamborghini. I'm excited. You guys excited? I'm not stepping on it right now, but I can feel the power is just there. I barely tapped on that gas and we were moving. And, there, and there's my local bar right there. You can make a left here. <laughs> the Silver Spur, where dreams come true. One thing you guys might not know about me is that I am a big fan of fast cars. So this is, I'm, I'm like a little kid in the candy shop right now. I'm, uh, I'm kind of tripping. And I'm, I'm looking forward to being those, if Miguel's, nice he's gonna let me go step on this thing somewhere oh yeah <laughs> trust me guys he's gonna step on it for sure i love how intuitive the uh the transmission is yes exactly very intuitive yeah. i mean it drives almost like i would want to drive if i was taking manual control of the vehicle it drives like like that like exactly. I'm, like i'm sh like i'm taking control of shifting like it's like the computer knows like you couldn't shift it any better i couldn't yeah. shift it any better if i had it in manual right and just so you guys know he is doing this barefooted so i want to see someone else do that Look at that. <laughs> Island style. Pass them up. It's light. Should we remember to do Yeah, you're good. This ain't the, the last of the Lambo. We're gonna wait till it cools down a little, and we got a little more planned, right, Brian? Oh yeah.
Eli's not feeling the water, guys. Eli, you don't like the water, huh? You don't want to be in the water? No, it's okay. You guys are gonna think I'm weird, but you probably already do think I'm weird, actually. But I just wanted to point this out at Miguel's house. They got, they got one of these. This is a sprayer next to the toilet. So you can spray your butt. I'm the only other person I know in the United States that has a sprayer next to their toilet like that, okay? Until I saw that one. I'm not saying that anybody else doesn't have that, but <laughs> this is the first time I've been to somebody else's houses who has one other than me. So that's cool. That's cool. Look, octopus. Miguel's got some snakes hatching out right now. We're going to take a look at them. And uh, I know we haven't filmed a whole bunch here, but we're yeah. not even done. This is just day one. I'm going to come back on Sunday. We're going to do some more filming. We're going to do a Triple B TV episode and show you some of the snakes, do a Snakes with Friends episode. So let's take a look at these snakes hatching right now. So this is a het caramel to spider het caramel pairing. Look at that. Oh, you definitely got a caramel spider. Oh, you got a caramel in there. Yeah. Got a caramel albino for sure. Oh, sorry. Hit a caramel albino there. So what do you guys think? You got you guys want to come back and check out some more Miguel stuff? Yeah? Put it down below. Let us know. So we just got to Long Beach uh, to Grandma and Grandpa Tisdale's house here. The boys' uh, grandparents, my in-laws, and yeah, we're here we're gonna finish out the night. And I just want to talk to you guys about a couple things real quick. I know I, the last couple days I haven't been super on it with the camera and you know talking to you guys. But when I when I have company and when I'm visiting people for the first time, especially to I don't like to have my camera running all the time. I want to hang out and visit, you know? I'm sure you guys understand that, right? And the other thing is, oh man, how cool is Miguel's spot, man? How cool is he? Let me drive his car? That was freaking sweet, man. That was awesome. But I gotta say, the really cool thing about Miguel, you know, other than, you know, he's got some awesome snakes that you will see soon in Triple B TV. The best thing Miguel has, in my opinion, is his family. His family was so good, so awesome. His boy handling those snakes like a professional, I mean, he's clearly a natural at it. And his daughter having such a passion for it, he does it, he does that for his kids, you know, having the snakes on the YouTube channel, that's for his kids. And that's awesome. And his wife, so sweet, and so on it with the boys, just like, I, I could literally just hang out because she was taking such good care of the kids. And such a sweet, sweet lady. I love meeting people like that. The people in the reptile community that I've come to meet so far, everybody's just so solid and such good people. I feel like such a blessing. But hopefully there's just more and more of that to come. So you guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other.